Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and I create mold tutorials for The Sims 4. In today's video, um, we're gonna go over pie menu categories. Now I've chosen this topic for today's video because I get a lot of questions about it and um, it is actually very simple to do. Now, before we dive in, I want to say if I sound a little bit tired, I am exhausted. My infant is teething and He's been awake all night. I finally laid him down to sleep. I hopped in the shower and had a quick shower and I'm running out of time. So that's why this video is gonna be a short video. Um, but I didn't wanna miss this week's video. So let's just dive into it and let's open the TDES C Builder and have a look what the pie menu categories are. So here I opened the TDESC Builder and I went into here and then typed in pie and there's literally only one kind of pie menu category that you can choose from. Now what actually is a pie menu category? A pie menu category is a category on any kind of object or on a sim or on a uh, even on the phone as an app which is just a category that holds onto certain interactions. So it just keeps things more organized if you're creating interactions for example I have my road to wealth mod and there I have a pie menu category that is called road to wealth and this is where you can find all the cheats within road to wealth so not only that I also have a phone app which um, is the finances app and within the finances app uh, which is a pie menu category you will find all the kind of like take out of loan pay my bills and all those kind of financial um, interactions. So that's basically what a pie menu category is. Now, if we open the pie menu category, as you can see, there aren't many options that we can choose from. So I would just want to go over the most basic ones, which is, of course, um, by now we should know the display name is always very, very important. Again, if you see this little key over here, it means it requires sim data. So if you are creating a pie menu category with Within the Sims 4 Studio, you also have to make sure to change the numbers for the display name in the Sim data. Now, something else that we should be familiar with right now is the icons. So this is the icon of your pie menu category. Now, if you are creating a pie menu category for a phone, um, it will be displayed as a square. So make sure that your icon is then also a square. You can easily do this like in Canva or in Photoshop or any other program that lets you create icons. Now, those are the two that we're probably all most familiar with. Now, let's look at collapsible. Now, this means that if there's only like one interaction within my pie menu, the pie menu will just not show. Um, so we don't have to like click on the pie menu category and then go to the interaction. Instead, the interaction will just be there. Then we get the display priority. Now, um, this is just, for example, if you're creating a pie menu category for a computer, we know when we click on a computer, there are like so many different options, different kind of categories that are within the computer. The display priority will just tell you where where your category will be displayed within the object your interactions are on. I hope that makes sense. If you are unsure exactly what I mean, you can definitely play around with it and see where your pie menu category will show within the object you put your interactions on. I hope that kind of says it makes sense. We also have the option to add a parent. Now a parent is, for example, we have this pie menu category, but I um, want this pie menu category to be in the computer, but then not just in the computer, uh, but I also want it to be under, um, let's say order. Um, so a parent, in this case, you would just add another pie menu category that this pie menu menu category is under. So if we say um, order, um, which is a computer order, probably have to say computer 
let me just type in here computer order so now you will only find this pie menu category if we click on the computer then click on order and then there is our pie menu category then the special category i've never used and i actually have no clue what it is so i've never played around with it uh, but moving on we have the always show disabled interaction and this just means that if your sim doesn't qualify for an interaction because the test doesn't allow them to then the interaction will still be shown within the category but honestly i've actually never used this so i just don't even touch that button and then for the last one we have mood overrides now mood overrides lets you for example um override the name of the category um if your sim is in a certain mood so that's also really fun to play with now that is basically it for uh, pie menu categories and um, i do also want to mention that pie menu categories are the same for any kind of interaction you're trying to make now if i'm trying to make a computer interaction and also a social interaction but i want both interactions to have the same pie menu category then you can just easily refer both interactions, even though they're on different objects, um, under the same play menu category. So this means that you don't have to make multiple different pie menu categories if they're all going to have the same name and the same icon because we can just reuse it. Interactions is all about you have to make sure to select your created pie menu category in the category section. More about this actually on my interactions video which I have a link in the top right corner so you can watch that after this video. So anyways, you can reuse a pie menu category as long as it has the same name and it is same display name um, it's all fine but you have to be careful with the parent because if I also wanted this interaction to be on a sim it currently isn't able to because the parent category is computer order so if you have a parent category that is not available on every single object that you have created then you will need to create multiple pie menu categories but if this is the main pie menu category you can just use this same category on every single interaction the last thing i want to mention is that if you are creating a phone app then this might be a little bit different because then you do want to create multiple pie menu categories because the phone app icon might not be as nice on the icon in a interaction on the computer for example um, so i always create a different one so i have a for example, in my road to wealth, I have a finance category that is on uh, that is available on the phone as well as on the computer, but they're two different Pi menu categories. And then I just named it like Pi menu category underscore phone and underscore computer. Um, so they're exactly the same, but like the icons are different. Um, so that's just a little bit of perfectionism that I have. Uh, <laughs> is that I want everything to look nice and clean. So that was it for this video about pie menu categories. I know it's a bit on the shorter side, but I, like I said earlier, I get this question quite often about pie menu categories. So I hope I made it clearer, uh, but still, if you have any more questions, then please feel free to ask those questions in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video or thought this video was helpful, then don't forget to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more Sims 4 mod tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.